Die Astronauts. Unreal Engine. <lacht> Ja, yeah. that's the adventure game, the vanishing of Ethan Carter. So let's start a new game and let's see how this works out. Playing as a supernatural detective. This game is a narrative experience that does not hold your hand. Okay. Ethan Carter I didn't know, but he knew who I was. When the police won't help you, and the priests don't believe you, you call on Paul Prospero. You call on me. If you're a kid like Ethan, you're right. Plenty do. Ethan's letter started out just like any other fan mail. But soon there were mentions of things no little boy should know about. There are places that exist that very few people can see. Ethan could have drawn a map. I hadn't entered Red Creek Valley yet, but already I could feel its darkness reaching out for me. Finding Ethan Carter wasn't going to be as easy as knocking on his door. I was too late for that. To find Ethan, I had to figure out what this place was trying to hide from me. This place, trying to hide something. Well... Just look like a forest with some fog and a railway. Oh, what? What is this? A strange circle? Whoa. Trap. Okay, this was. Ah, that's one of his supernatural skills. He has a vision. Hmm, so about but he and needs both. more of them. Oh! Oh, what a big trap. It's for beers. beers. Ah, now we got a sack piece. So, I guess that one of his skills is to trigger traps from afar. As. Each of these trap may become deadly or Oh, there's a George's view here. Wonderful. The great Lake. The sun. That's sun so setting down. Ah, it's autumn, huh? Red leaves. Mm. Oh, what's this little old bridge? Ah. So let's look around if our supernatural detective Rospero can figure out what this place is hiding. Some more traps, sure. Ah, oh. here! Many human skulls and bones lying on the ground. So now we're here again at the entrance of the tunnel. And ah, here's another way. Ooh. What the fuck? That was close. That was close, <laughs> Mr. Detective. Ah. One piece. Whoa. This is the last piece. And we're just here now? Okay. We stood over there. Yeah, there is the trap. And now we're just here. What the fuck is this? Hmm. Battlefield. Okay. Some kind. All these 
All burnt down or what? Burnt to the bones. So many ash here. Yeah, there's a picture. Trees on fire. And house on fire. A house on, house on fire. Zeb by Eden Carter. An old man came to the forest every day to drink Zeb from the trees. To get there, the old man had to step around many dangerous traps. The villagers believed this old man had hidden a jade amulet in the forest. But the old man wanted the villagers to believe this because then they would search the forest for treasure and not drink a zap. One cool fall night someone set fire to the forest and the fire spread to the village. The old man escaped the fire by covering himself in zap. When he returned to the village he found all the villagers bones. The old man sat down and cried. Uh, then he found more zap to drink. Okay. Ethan, I told you, you can't be here. But Gramp, I wrote something for you. That's real nice. Thank you. Just, just leave it. I'll read it later. Okay. That was his grandfather. Hmm? Ed. Ed Carter. Both are gone. Now we're back. So what's this? Okay, that's the other side. Nothing. One dead in house fire by Jeff Chomo. Bayfield County. Fire damage in a historic home in Red Creek Valley Wednesday morning. According to officials from the Bayfield County F uh, Fire Department. A family of six was asleep when the blaze broke out at the remote house once owned by Albert Wandercriff by the Ogden Lake in Red Creek Valley. Gail Carter, 58, was pronounced dead at the scene. Remaining family members were able to escape. Carter's husband Edwin, 62, told investigators he may have fallen asleep with a lit cigarette in his hand. Firefighters were dispatched to the scene at 1.22 a.m. and remained at the scene until around 5 a.m. Wednesday. They returned to the property four hours later to extinguish hotspots which had rekindled. Assisting at the initial fire was the Ashland Township Volunteer Fire Department. Masonville Emergency Medical Services was on standby at the scene. Okay. So got to notice he draw it. There's not there's this is another pace page. How can we here? After heated public hearing, no answers for Wandercriff hairs by Tom Orton. Bayfield County. Members of the Wandercriff family again gathered in the Bayfield County Courthouse today to debate the fate of the Wandercriff fortune, which has remained in escrow since 1961. When family patriarch Albert Wandercrift, 71, died in a mine accident. The after effects of which nearly destroyed Wandercrift industrial and severely damaged the local economy. James Wandercrift, 38, of Chicago, argued that his father's demands were unreasonable and that many Wandercrift family members have personal reasons for wanting to avoid living in Red Creek Valley on the Wandercrift estate. As stipulated in the Elder Wannacruz's will, the recent fire in which the Wannacruz home was damaged, he said, only underlined his family's concerns. Since 1961, the Carter family has lived upon the former Wannacruz estate as temporary caretakers. Okay, so... Some of uh, Eaton Carter's family died there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, let's continue. Still got sunlight. Oh. Eden Carter, but his his uh, grand grandfather, he uh, sounded really annoyed when Eden wanted to show him his uh, story. Bridge closed. Do not enter. Well. uh 
We got no no other option. Ah, what a pew. What is the sound? This this bridge is so old and makes so much sound it nearly breaks apart or what? Red Creek Valley. Seemed like a quiet, ordinary place. I've learned two things in my life. No place is truly quiet, and nowhere is really ordinary. Ethan warned me about that. Warned me not to be fooled by what I saw here. He didn't need to worry. I'd worked dozens of cases, hundreds. This would be my last one. Yeah, this last case. <laughs> well. This goes ready deep down there. Ah, there's a dam. Making this huge, huge lake here. What's this? Uh, some kind of wagon? A rail car? And it's definitely autumn. You can see all the different uh, colors of brown dark brown and the fading green from the trees oh there's blood blood at the front it's looks like it's splashed when that when the what the fuck is this blood animal human accident murder Crankshaft? Fresh crutches recently used? Crank? Oh, that's one of his supernatural abilities again. Ah, when I when I move, we can see that this is the wrong direction. There. You can sense where it is. <laughs> In this direction. Oh, some rocks, water. That must be at the shore of this lake. Ah, oh, we can see the dam in the distance. Gonna find this one. And that, with that, we should be able to start up this rail car. Got only wood left, loaded. <coughs> so let's see. Sun setting down. Oh, we take this direction, this road. Got to lead to the shore of the sea, a lake. Untied, tied, no blood, rope, okay, this is something to take note of, someone, oh, there we have it, Ooh. their legs, rest of the corpse, Blood trail. Victim dragged away, crawled away, severed legs. Well, this leads to the shore of that lake. We we'll just is there. We'll just follow. What's the sign? Under uh, construction? No, this bridge. The body. Blood from legs, blood from fractured skull, got hit, cause of death, blood loss, head trauma. Oh, yeah. Our true detective, not yet death scene, disturbed by third party, eroded by time. 
So this place he can speak, communicate with the dead. But for that our true detective has to find more. Press the crank on him. So this is the place where we can find the crankshaft. Yeah, the dam was in the background and it was near the rocks. Yeah. So, oh, there, there is. is. There it is. There's blood. Maybe this was the thing which caused the fracture to the skull. Okay. Let's, let's take the other way back up there. Maybe we can find more. Because Paul Rospero, he can communicate with the dead when he restores what it was like uh, when the murder happened. So where are we now? No. This may be too far away. But I guess we can take this walk here. Yeah. This leads back, huh? To the railway. Oh, so there's some strange animal sounds here. Okay. Oh. Is a stone missing or, or what? Rock. Devolved. Fresh dirt. Is a rock missing? Ah, again. He can sense. Where's the missing rock? <laughs> In this direction, okay. Ah, there, tree strum. Gotta find this one, no big deal. In this direction. Gasoline canister? Tried grass. No sun. Rectangle shape. Rail car from the bridge? Rail car. Yeah. Yeah, the rail car. We have to bring it back here. It stood here when the murder happened. <laughs> Definitely was no suicide. <laughs> we have to bring this here and have to bring the stone back. Gasoline, diesel fuel, dropped carelessly in a rush on purpose. Canister. Alright, let's look for that rock. We need that and then... Ah, here's a tree stone. There's blood. This war, this caused a fractured skull. So if we bring this back. Yeah. Okay. See that legs there. So we put the stone back to its place. Let's see how this looks now. When he tries to speak with a dead man. Ah. Still unclear, but it got better. 
So, let's rush back to the train, come on. Before sun setting down. Alone in a fucking weird village. First we got traps all over the place, and now... A dead man with severed legs. What the fuck is this village here? In the middle of nowhere land. Ah, come on, spin. Ah, we got it working. Okay, turn off now, we leave it on. So, we bring it back to its place. We gotta find the right spot. Ah, there we can see the dried grass on the ground. Ah, okay. So, turn off. Oh. This was like a ghost whisper. We have it. Now we can speak with him, huh? Or not? He can show us what happened. We have to follow these. Or what? Okay. Let's go here. Ed, that's the kid. Maybe that's Eden Carter. He was tied to this rail railway? What the fuck? Okay. The man helped him. Yeah, we finished him off. That man was crawling away. So what happened here? He and the man in the rail car. He got the rock and hit him on the head. There on the shore, we can hear thunder. And you just chronology to tag. This is the first thing that happened. Means next. No. I'm not sure if this is the first. I mean, how many lights were there, you, you know? How many of those ghost lights? Five? Five? So we have one... One, two, three, four, and five of the murder scene. Maybe there's one at the shore. No. There's not one in the shore. Okay. <clears throat> so taking the rock I don't think so I no. don't think this guy was the one who tied up yeah yeah Easily. I guess after we have seen all ghost lights now we can 
do the chronology. Yeah. And the, yeah, the kids stand by. And here he lost his leg. So this is the first. Previous. One. Okay. Now we have to go to the rock. Oh, it's already at two. We can leave it. And this is number three. Yeah. He got hit on the head with that rock. And then you know, this is the next one, number four. And he was crawling away with a severed leg. It's number five. And the last one is where the old man finished him off. Listen to me. We can destroy it. I know how. You can't destroy it, Ethan. You can't destroy time. And that's what he is. He is forever. Gail, honey, I wish there was another way. Gail and Ed? Travis. Tell me where Ethan is. Now. I'm giving the sleeper what he wants. What all of us want. Look, old man. You need to go home. <gasps> yeah. And he was stumbling away. Makes it better, yeah. Well, <sighs> what does he want to show us? There to shore. Come on, move. So we got it correctly. And now, Grandpa, stay away. Ethan, I'm sick too. I can feel the sleeper in my head. Then fight it. I have to destroy the room. Corvus, I'm sorry, Ethan. Oh no! I can't let you do that. What the fuck? This is, is his family crazy Whatever or what? Whatever had turned Ethan's family against him, the grandfather was trying to resist. Age helps against those things that feed on hate. Not because of wisdom or experience. Because the old are tired. Their hate is less useful. Huh. Okay. Really weird things here in, in this family of Eden Carter. What the fuck? <laughs> 